I've just reached Weems Bay. I'm going to head towards Logs and then turn inland and ride back over what's called the Old, old Logs Road. Oh, it's a bit of a late time in the year to be heading off on a, a camping trip. But the weather forecast was good and I had to come to Glasgow for work. So it seemed like too good an opportunity to miss. So I packed up my camping gear and took it all to Glasgow and then popped it in the hotel while I did a few days work. And then now it's Friday and I'm taking a, a day off. It's, it's literally frosty. There's frost on the leaves and frost on the grass and occasionally a little bit of frost on the road. Ah, next thing, I'm looking for a place where I can sit down in the sun with a view and have a coffee and I'm done. It's coming up to lunchtime now. I've uh, just left Logs and I've turned basically north again and I'm heading now up the old Logs Road. Earlier this morning it was so cold on my face. I thought, oh, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy this. But, uh, I, either I've got used to it or it's warmed up a bit. I'm going really slowly but I'm happy to go slowly and look at everything and take it in. sitting at a corner of the road and uh, that, that was very nice. And I've climbed it, I don't know, only a couple of miles further and it's completely open moorland now and uh, it's quite hard work. I'm getting really hot but, um, but it's absolutely worth it. It's so nice not to be in the office. You can go on a tiny adventure, it's only a two day adventure, but it just feels so good to be able to grab a bike and you know, love bits of kit and head off into the hills. Right, well, I'm looking for a spot to sleep now which is a bit early but um it's just I just feel like it's gonna get really cold and the sun's gonna go down quite quickly now so um I've just climbed up this knoll above the road so down there is a little bridge and I think I'm gonna try this here Yes, it's even better from higher up. So uh, it's very wet. I've just got my feet slightly wet in um, a bit of marshy, uh, a marshy area, but uh, never mind. Didn't really get wet, but just you know, lesson learned. Uh, so it's going to be a struggle to pull stuff up here, but I'm going to bring my kit up here and I think pitch up here. Exciting. Well, I've climbed her. Right up onto, uh, oh yeah, let's see. I'm up above Rotterburn Bridge, which you can see there. So I'm on probably either Croach Hill or Garvick Hill. 
out or at least part way up and uh, I think I'm going to camp here it's going to be quite exposed but um, it just seems like at least I'm kind of high above the road so no one can really I mean no one will really see me fantastic view how amazing worried about being too cold. I am worried about being too cold. Just use all the equipment I've got. I've got a three season sleeping bag plus two sleeping bag liners. So I think I'm going to do And I'm going to have hot vegetable chow mein which is what this is Shape off the tent, the stove had frozen to the ground, but I um, had a hot coffee and I had some Nutella, although that had come to a solid block, so I just ate it like normal chocolate, I don't know if it was that hard. to the road, hopefully not as hard as coming up here last night. Well, I can hardly believe I'm still going, but I am still going. Uh, 
absolutely gorgeous. It's really cold, but it's gorgeous. I found a little cafe at a fishing lock. So I had a, a stop there for lunch and the most fantastic quarter pounder burger and um, two massive mugs of tea and that was brilliant. Then I've taken a track that led up over the hill above the fishing lake and then now I'm looking down towards Drumfrocker and that's where I'll take the train back into Glasgow. Oh, it's been such a brilliant trip. Absolutely brilliant.